हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इज द बर्थ डे ऑफ स्वाति घाटे अ वेरी स्पेशल चाइल्डहुड फ्रेंड एंड कॉम्पिटिटर अ फॉर्मर नेशनल वुमेन चैंपियन एंड सम वन हु इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फियर्ड वुमेन प्लेयर्स ऑफ इंडिया इनफैक्ट शी हैज अ वेरी वेरी अग्रेसिव स्टाइल एंड ऑन अ गुड डे शी कैन जस्ट फीट एनी वन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू you know improve your skills in king hunt if you want to you know become a good attacking player i would say swati's games are the best place to make a start i'm not kidding in fact a few years back i decided to diversify my playing style you know more of a positional player and i decided to go for aggressive chess and i studied the games of swati and this was not like many years back it was kind of last 5 years back or so and i must say that if you want to you know do the same this is where you have to make a start the best compliment that i can give to swati is that if you ask me to write a book on the games of one female chess player of india i will choose swati because i can learn a lot studying her games Swati has had a long chess career with a lot of success having represented India in the chess olympiads and other major events but i decided to keep this video short so i will not list all her achievements among the many feathers to her cap What stands out in my eyes is Swati winning the Commonwealth Women title in the year 2017 ahead of so many female players half her age. Today Swati is a mother, a wife, an office goer. She plays a very good role as a daughter and still she manages her chess career still she is able to succeed and i find this very very motivating swati is an excellent example of players from my generation who came from a very modest background put in a lot of hard work and climbed the ladder of success with determination here's wishing swati a very happy birthday may she get every happiness in her life today i'm going to show to you two positions from the games of swati so this was played in 2002 swati is white and black is hutchinson norman and this was the british championship swati is white she is to play here and if you look at this position black is attacking the d5 pawn so this is under attack and uh, there is a threat to capture it with the knight so in this position it's your move if you are white what will you play in this position it's my masala chai moment swati played the move d6 she sacrificed the pawn and the point is of course as i mentioned she is very good in tactics and king hunt and you have to be really careful with your king in a game against her she has a very good eye for attack so after d6 opponent took rook into d6 after rook into d6 queen into d6 did you see the point of playing the move d6 here came the shot queen into a7 king into a7 knight b5 this was the fork swati had in mind when she played the move d6 and now the black king cannot go back on b8 
because after king b8 white is just taking knight into d6 attacking the rook and the b6 knight is also under attack so in the game after knight b5 black had to play king a6 supporting the knight on b6 and swati played knight into d6 she's attacking the rook on e8 and also there is an attack to the pawn on f7 and in this position uh, white is better here but her opponent made a blunder in this position he played rook e7 instead he could have moved the rook elsewhere maybe on on d8 or on e uh, e6 yes but uh, the opponent played rook e7 and what was wrong with this move can you find a tactics here so at the almost finish of the game with the next move she played rook into b6 now these shots are something swati does not miss she wants to go knight c8 so after king into b6 knight c8 she got this fork it's a check and there is an attack to the rook king c7 was played knight into e7 we see that swati is a clear piece up in this position a uh, black has no compensation for it let's see the finish of the game knight into h5 okay black got one pawn but uh, not enough knight f5 knight f4 knight into e5 knight g2 captured this pawn knight into g7 white captures knight f4 king d2 king d6 knight into f7 king e7 knight into h6 king f6 knight e8 check king e7 knight c7 and black resigned being complete piece down two points down i really liked the tactics d6 very nice attacking move it's uh, you know when swati plays white attacking the king becomes so easy but in our own games it becomes so so difficult when we want to attack opponent's king in this game swati is white and black is grandmaster deepan chakravarti this is the commonwealth championship i mentioned earlier swati won the commonwealth women and you know in commonwealth we have a common tournament between men and women and from there you have the commonwealth you know women champion so swati uh, played this in the third round and this was a position after white's 31st move so swati had just played rook into b2 and in this position uh, it's it's i guess a very unclear position here black uh, i mean is also doing quite good it's it's not very clear to to my eyes and uh, here deepan played the move rook a2 and this move happens to be a blunder now this is my masala chai moment for me it's not you know so obvious why this move is a blunder but i mean i really i really need to think uh you know think and uh, find out the idea i really like this idea uh swati played and this is my masala chai moment find the next move of swati Swati is very very alert. She played the move bishop into c5. Now, had this opponent's bishop into c5 not been a check, could be, you know, easy to spot. But you know, bishop into c5 is a check. But the point is, after king h2, we see this rook on b2 is hanging. So white is giving up. this rook because there is a very good tactical idea an idea we all should be familiar with it's a it's an idea very repetitive idea and um, uh you know it's very very useful rook into b2 and the point of bishop into c5 was queen g4 white is threatening a mate on g7 but more importantly the d7 queen is hanging and white has threats of knight into h6 if g7 is defended the queen on d7 is hanging after that 
this is a point it's a it's a known tactical idea but it's you know it takes a lot of alertness to find such moves on the board the point is here in this position black cannot go bishop f8 as after knight f6 check the queen on d7 is hanging so in this position black must give up the queen queen into f5 queen into f5 and uh, white is better here black has to defend with rook f8 and so on but yes white is definitely uh, good here so in the game after bishop c5 black played the move rook into b2 black did not capture bishop into c5 swati went queen c4 so you need to understand why bishop c5 bishop into c5 and the point is that the knight on c5 was supporting the d7 queen and that is why you know swati removed the defender of the queen and now after queen g4 there is this thread of knight into h6 like we saw in the previous variation in the game d1 played queen b5 but instead if he goes bishop c5 check there is king h2 again the same problem that if bishop f8 we have knight into h6 king h7 queen d7 winning for white and after king h2 if black takes queen f5 we can take back rook f8 take on e5 and uh, it's a good position for white so after queen g4 in the game d1 played queen b5 uh, white took bishop into f8 there's a mate threat coming on g7 we see queen g7 is a mate queen b6 check was played king h2 white is completely winning now already uh, f8 cannot be captured uh, we see there's a mate on g7 so d1 played queen g6 here try, trying to you know get out of this difficult mess but there was another tactics here knight e7 check this was a last move of the game d1 resigned here and the point is there is a fork to the king and the queen and after rook into e7 swati can just take queen into g6 f into g6 bishop e7 white is a clear piece up and the d and c pawns are completely rolling so yeah uh, deep and resigned i think this is an excellent uh, you know example a very nice tactical shot was played in the game after rook a2 blunder which looks you know, rook a2 looks like a very uh, very normal move but swati's alertness showed here bishop into c5 very beautiful shot and this tactical idea of queen g4 when a queen on d7 is not supported when there is a king on g8 knight f5 queen g4 it's a very very important tactical idea which we can learn from this game i hope you enjoyed the two examples i chose from swati's games here's wishing swati a very very happy birthday and lots of happiness in her life See you all soon. Bye-bye.